Hello once again, everyone, and welcome to Kruznik Sanctuary. I'm your host, Kruznik X. Um, alongside me, but not playing, is Arya Stormborn. She's just playing something else, she said, but the mic's not picking her up for some reason. Well, that's true, too. Um, plug it in. There we go. Sick. I'm invisible, and I am good at it. No, you're just a short girl, and sometimes you have a motor scooter, and you go very fast, and you disappear from my sight. Those things don't even go 25 miles per hour. And yet, somehow, you still disappear. Like I said, I'm invisible, and I'm good at it. Hmm. Anyways, um, so... Tonight, once again, and my controller is fucking up on me for some contrived reason. There we go. Um, so, we are playing Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker and, an and doing another... What the crap is... Is my controller just dead to the world or something? I don't know what's going on here, but I'm not liking it. The bon We're I sure hope it's not that. There we go. Okay, make sure this actually works again. Um, okay, uh, and my controller's working, good. Don't know why that happened. Anyways, um, where was it? Oh yeah, Endwalker. So, we are doing another release from the most recent patch. Um, so, there's more to Blue Mage again. Um, so before this these episodes started, I leveled, I power leveled with Lord Firax and Corlash up to level 80. Unfortunately, Lord Firax is stuck several stages behind me. So unfortunately, I must go it alone. Let's recap the Blue Mage storyline for those who don't remember. Um, Martin has been doing stuff at the Mast Carnival as the Great Azuro for some time, and Azuro II, aka me, has had to come to his rescue on a couple of occasions. How will we come to his rescue this time? Time will only tell. Let's get right down to it with the newest quest in the Bl Blue Mage storyline, the level 70 quest, and the crowd goes mild. Well, well, look who it is. Siegfried and Zinberg were telling me how you went and saved all star. You've done me proud, Chris. Though I wish you'd have called on me. I'd have given your enemies a sound thrashing, as only a master of blue magic can. That's not to say you aren't a master of the arts, mine. We're all still here breathing, after all. <clears throat> While I've nothing quite so momentous to share, there was something I've been meaning to tell you. Because the guild has so many members now, adventurer folk of all sorts eager to explore every corner of the realm, we've discovered quite a few new spells I'm sure you'll be keen to have added to your blue magic spellbook. A fine compliment to the wealth of knowledge in your blue mage log, but there's always room for improvement. I trust you're still adding notes to it, eh? Arya, would you like to do the honors of this line? That's a girl? Yeah. Chris! What a welcome surprise! How fortunate that you should save me the trouble of seeking you out! If you're both here, I take it you're not come for small talk. I'm afraid not, my dear. Your impressive displays at the Mask on a Ball have served to help the Celestium thrive. And yet... 
In recent days, ticket sales have been on a decline. Now that you mention it, I have noticed more empty seats in the stands of late. And what crowds do we do manage? We do manage to draw. Seem rather unenthused by the proceedings. Should this continue, I fear Amagina and Sons will withdraw their financial backing. Well, there has to be something we can do. To discern what that something is, I require your assistance. First and foremost, I believe it prudent we speak to the people of Uldar directly, and learn what it is they've suddenly found wanting at the Celestium. Chris, if you could go and investigate the Gold Court, the rest of us shall start from the surrounding districts and spread out from there. When you all have finished, let us reconvene here. Now, off you trot! Uh, trot, 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 I don't have coconuts, okay? You could bang cups together. I don't have coconuts. I said cups. Eh. Anywho, the Alright, we need to go to the gold court, which is near... Oh, we just... Go down the middle lane. Yeah. We'll just run around the gold court for a minute. Alright, let's start with this easygoing sit. No, let's start with this overbearing sit. Hmm. That's kind of all. Not to mention it, I haven't been to see the show in quite some time. After a while, it all seems so... routine. Gladiator matches are far more interesting. At least then the challenge is not some marmot-brained idiot. That's kind of all? Never been. Be honest, can't say I'm all that interested. Gold Saucer, on the other hand, now that's a fun time. Hey, aren't you that blue mage of Zoro the Second? I'm a big fan of yours! I went to the Celestium near every day after your debut performance, and it's been a while since last I was there. Nothing really seems to pose a challenge for you anymore. What they need is a more menacing opponents like Azomagia and Gogo! Why do I feel like... What, what's his name? Gladiator. Who's the actor who plays the main character? Russell Crowe. Who? Russell Crowe. Yeah, him. It's like, are you not entertained? Apparently not, because we're getting complaints. Anyway, let's speak with Royce. Finish your inquiries at the Gold Court, have you? Good. I imagine Martin and Piandit here should be along ere long. I see. And the answer to our problems is clear. Azura the Second is in need of a nemesis. But what are the people who told me they're clamoring for more appearances from Azura the Third? You mean person? Singular. And what is a single opinion against a swath of fans seeking a worthy challenge to oppose Azura the Second? If they're to contend with Chris, we would need the likes of Siegfried or Azulmagia. Quite right. Then the two shall clash in the masked carnival. The Celestium are washed with just excited fans clamoring for more. Very well, Martin. Very well. Martin, you are to find a nemesis for Chris. And to be certain they are worthy of the role, 
This prospective rival must be stronger even than you. Seeing as that's not physically possible, I'm afraid I'll have to decline. Is that so? Pity that. I was considering appointing you showmaster had you succeeded. Naturally, that would include 3% of profits for all their appearances at the Celestium, but if you've no interest... Showmaster, you say? Make it 5% and you have yourself a deal. Hmm... 4%? Three and a half. Deal! You'll have your nemesis, just you wait. Then I shall see to the preparations for their debut. It wouldn't do for you to be seen in the same tired old garbs, but worry not. I shall make certain you are dressed for the occasion. Now, if you'll excuse me, there is much to be done. While I'm away, I'll need you to keep watch over the guild, Piante. Think you're up to the task? I know full well how you tend to matters at the guild, Martin. I'm sure we'll be fine. Seeing as this is meant to be your rival, Chris, I'll be counting on you to give them your seal of approval. I'll be in touch with Piante when I found a suitable candidate, so don't be a stranger. In the meantime, I think it best you continue your training. Nemesis deserves nothing less than your very best, after all. Why not see about learning Goblin Punch while I'm gone? No doubt you'll make good use of it in the battles to come. Till then! It didn't occur to me until after he left. But I'm quite certain the rate, your, the rate for Showmasters is 5%. Perhaps it's best that he doesn't find out. <sighs> With that, his skill in negotiation matched to his mastery of blue magic. Speaking of which, I believe you have a task set before you. Mastery of Goblin Punch. I'll be holding down the fort till you return. And with that, another adventure begins. The next Blue Mage quest will be the level 50, uh, level 73 quest, The Beard, The Myth, The Legend. But we're going to take a quick break. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned for more. If you're watching on YouTube, here are all the links provided to get you where you need to go. See you in a bit.